I'm Tim Alexander. And I'm Ben Mio McRae. And we love being married. married. <laughs> being married is the bomb. Yes, it is. It's, there's nothing like it. Nothing like it. Being married is a life-changing experience. I have somebody I can wake up with every day. I don't every have to day. wonder, am I going to get a date tonight? Uh, what do I have to you do? You have a date to, every night. Uh, it, you it, got a date partner for life. A date partner for life. Being married is something that is so satisfying in the sense of it's real. You it's know? real and it's so, I mean, it's, you find your soulmate. So, and yeah. sometimes you want to stop bringing an apartment and buy a house. You know, and say, this is where I'm going to be. Absolutely. You know, and a house is a commitment. A house is a commitment, just like the relationship is a commitment. And you're committed to each other. And, you know, so you do all the things that you, I mean, do in a marriage. Yeah. And when you get married, you feel like a grown man. You feel like you finally really grew up. You're doing like real man stuff because I have a wife. Yeah. And I you're like taking see, care of her. Yeah. I like to see my finger pass by my face or in a picture or in a video. And it's like, there's a ring on it. I'm like, yeah. I'm like this dude. He's a married man. He gets more respect than Absolutely. just a guy who's, you know, whatever age, and he just has a job, and he dates every once in a while. Well, this we, is the husband. We took the risk. We found our queens, and now we're enjoying the rewards of that. Yeah, and there's nothing better than hearing your wife say, my husband. I love that. Man, doesn't that just warm the heart? Yep. I love, I love when she calls me her husband. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I just love being married because she's a good woman, and, you know, she's got a good heart. Um, she's compassionate. Um, yeah. You know, she she really does take care, take good care of me, and she's uh, she takes care of like all of the family. Yeah, and you know she's an amazing woman, but then when you hear her say her name and put your name on the end of it, it's like wow. She took my name. That's my name. So you know. Yeah. That's a big thing because you know a lot of people get married and the the women don't take their last name, and I think that's. That's a big thing when they when your spouse your 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 soulmate takes takes your name. That's a that's a big thing. Yeah, and you know, our wives. I know your wife. I've known her for years. Our wives have values of the more traditional women. You know, not saying they're old fashioned data, but they're not trying to be these modern. You can't tell me anything. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take your name. I'm I'm. You know, they have values of what a woman should have. You're a lucky man. Karen's wonderful. Yeah, thank you, thank you. And I mean, they, they, they cook and they take care of the home and they love us and they support us. And you know, we're not perfect. We're, nope. we're, we're trying to make moves in our careers, you know. And it takes one with some patience because we're not just nine to five guys with a big bank account. No, and I, and I know I, I sometimes drive my wife a little crazy and I challenge her patience. And you know, she's got a, I think she's had to learn more patience being with me, you know, but, um, yeah, I think we balance each other out. Yeah, I she's know. she's the uh, social butterfly, the bubbly one. I'm kind of like the more even keel, the low key, you know. Yeah, I'm not used to being all doing this much talking. I don't think I usually <laughs> am quite the listener. Yeah. Um, so you know, we we learn from each other, and, and I try to uh, get some things from her in terms of like being more communicative, and she's definitely learning more patience from me. See, Ben really likes being a husband. Ben doesn't talk a whole lot, folks. You're inside Ben. So count yeah, yourself. This is a challenge. Yeah. It's a challenge to get me to be this kind yes. of. Yes. Count open. yourself privileged. You're inside Ben. You, people don't get this kind of information out of Ben. He's, just, he's going to listen to you and see what you're talking about. Yeah, 90% <laughs> out of the time, I'm like, hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 But anyway, Ben is talking. So that means he really loves being married. So being married, you know, for a man. You know, there's a difference in a man who gets married. Because the woman wants to, or you're trying not to let her get away, or because she got pregnant. Yeah, well, you want to get married for the right reasons. And a man who wants to be married from deep down inside some place that women don't think exist. Some men really want to be a husband, and they understand it as a life commitment, and that's what they want. You get a man like that, you got a a man for life. I know, you know, I grew up with my mother, I didn't have a father figure around. And I know in my own uh, relationships, I've tried to kind of compensate and make up for that lack of that relationship. So I didn't want to be the same way or have, have uh, my partner go through the same things that I you know, 
went through in my family. I wanted to be a good man, a good husband for my wife. Wow. And be there. Now that's interesting. I respect that a lot. I came from a mother and father. They were together until my father died. My father's mother and father were together. His mother and father. Since 1825, there hasn't been a broken line of fathers in my family lineage. That's, I take a lot of pride in that. That's amazing. But I really respect a man or a woman who is more than the sum total of what life dealt them. A lot of men that didn't have that example, they cannot be the husband that Ben is. But Ben has something in here and even more so something in his heart that says, I can do better. I don't have to, you know, be the product of I don't my, have to repeat those same right. patterns. Doesn't have to do that. Yeah. yeah I respect that. I can, cha- I can change my own history. Yeah. And he's just as good a husband as I am, you know. And a lot of times, a lot of men are lacking because sometimes their mothers were overbearing or they just allowed themselves to be the product of their environment. Some people are from the hood, straight from the ghetto, and they're just ghetto. Some people are from the ghetto, and they end up being doctors and lawyers. They're like, I'm going to find something in me to get out of here because I don't have to deal with this mediocrity. Right. They have to find the the inspiration inside themselves to, to do the things that they aspire to do. Right. So when you're evaluating a man, ladies, separate an exceptional man from a man who's just living at what life dealt him. Listen to what he says. Look at what he does. Look inside that man and say, is this a man I can trust with my life and my heart for a lifetime is going to do right by me? Yeah. Well, look, at, look at their actions. Actions speak louder than words. And, you know, an honorable man will have honorable actions. Yeah. And he sounds different. He just doesn't sound like the other guys. When a guy sounds different, open your ears and listen up, because you may find one like this. And, you know, unfortunately, you know, I wish there were more like us, you know. Yeah. And men do not give any slack to no good men. I've noticed that women will defend even crappy women. Don't talk about women. Yeah. That's a woman. Yeah. If a guy ain't worth nothing, I, I got I'll no tell, love for him. I'll tell you. Yeah. I'll yeah. be like, this dude, this dude's... Yeah. He's, yeah, get away from this dude. Yeah. You know, I don't like mama's boys, you know, your turn. What don't you like when you see men and you know they're not what a man is supposed to be? Um, I mean, I don't I don't like players, but that kind of gets back to my upbringing. So, you know, if I've seen my share of men who don't do the right thing yeah. and aren't uh, taking care of the household the way they need to, uh, not taking care of their kids, um, they're resp- just not being responsible. Yeah. So, you know, a real man just doesn't respect men who don't handle themselves to a proper man code. We don't defend them. If they're not handling their business, we're going to call them exactly what they are. If, if women say men are dogs, they don't have their responsibility, we just go, eh, you know, we don't get defensive because we know a lot of guys are like that. Absolutely. But, you know, unfortunately, so often, you know, women aren't as gracious when, when, when men are trying to communicate what their challenges are in dealing with women. You know, that they, they want to try to pretend that they don't know what kind of women we're talking about. Well, I mean, I think it's easy for men and women to kind of get fixated on whatever their laundry list of things are that they're looking for. And you can get blinded to the good things that are in front of you. Yeah. You know, so if you want, you know, the ripped abs and a certain amount of money in the bank account and all that kind of thing, mm-hmm. you know, you're not looking at your big picture. You know, what do you want? in the long run and how you're going to get there and who's that right person that's respects you and going to do those things yes so in closing no we're not fancy but you don't have to compete to try to keep us away from the other women you don't have to wonder what kind of crazy bone are we going to pull <laughs> you know today i'm home every night we're consistent we're going to we- love our women with every fiber of our body to the best of our ability for a lifetime for life that's what we want. You find a good man, you get a better life. You find a guy who's got all these things going on, good luck trying to hold on to it, ladies. You know, look for a real man and separate a real man from your fantasy man because he's the guy that all your girlfriends are gonna be impressed with and the media says you want a guy with swagger, a corporate thug and all the other foolishness that women are looking for. You know, that's fantasy stuff. That's, that's not what real life is. You just want to have a partner that's going to be responsible and treat you the way you deserve to be treated, like a queen. And this is from two real men from the heart trying to help, because we know there's probably more women looking at this than men. Find a real man who's all about you. 
above everything else and not about everything else. And then you're just an accessory to his life. Big difference. Yeah. So in that, hope it helps.